Amy.mil. Also want to recognize our ground crewmen rushing out to the rescue as they come touching down to the ground. Without the air crewmen, they'd have to take off their own smoke boots. Right, big applause, everybody. Let's hear it for the leapfrogs. is a turbine powered airplane meaning this propeller hooked to a jet engine and this is a completely different training aircraft than the old World War II airplane built by North America that had a 600 horsepower Pratt and Whitney engine. Oh and looky here the B-26 built by Cummins. Things coming up John. And the B-26 is, is it on the bombing run yet? He is up and to the right. Here he comes down runway 17. Bomb bay doors open. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Let's see if his bomb bay doors are open. Yeah, they are. Ah. Oh, that the mark? That's what we're talking about. Sunscreen before we see the wall of fire. John, I might mention that the uh, B 26 is not to be confused with the B 26 that Glenn Martin built. And boys, have pretty look at that, everybody. Yeah, it's a little difficult to do. You might be surprised with a steam bank and a ton engine airplane like that. But when they took that B-36 that Glenn Martin built out of service, they gave the title to this particular airplane. The uh, Glenn Martin airplane had very short wings and uh, also the Vic Pratt Putney 2000 horsepower engines. And it was one of those airplanes you had to fly by the book or it was uh, too bad Suzanne. But this is a great airplane. The B-26 is a fantastic airplane. Douglas built a great airplanes. He built a, the Goonie Birds, he built a C-47 as you uh, just saw with the, air, with the flight of the old airplanes from World War II. All right, here is the B-32. <laughs> I turn this into a much bigger airplane every time, though. It's a B-26. Roll it out. We're just ahead of the flash fire jet truck. Uh, kind of a little uh, fun thing we have here, but the biggest 